Hello and welcome. I'm so excited. I just got my new deck in today. It's, um, this one cost a pretty penny. <laughs> Am I one of those girls that spends, oh, $150 on tarot cards? <clears throat> yes. Yes, I am. Um, I will admit if there were, if there was a really, really good rare deck and I had a million dollars and the deck cost like $500,000, I'd probably buy it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, I don't have a million dollars, so I don't need to worry about that. But, um, this is a deck that it is, um, based out of medieval Europe and Western Europe. Um, I got it from, oh gosh, what's that country? I wanted to say Lithuania, but it's not Lithuania at all. It's, um, oh, whatever. It'll come to me in a moment. Uh, either way, um, the images are really like uh, medieval and just really interesting. Um, you guys are the first group to see them, so I'm excited to do this. And uh, some of them are a little crazy, so comes with like a little book. It's nice. Um, but yeah, I will, I'll post a link to the reading just in case you guys are bored by this, but excuse me. All right. Let's see what's going on. Oh, I need to fi figure out who I'm doing a reading for. All right. Uh, like we're going to go with Leo because Leo, you're at the bottom of the deck. Also, I'm curious to see what's coming in for us in 2024. I'm finally feeling kind of back to my old self. <laughs> like, I don't know what the hell was wrong with me. I was like, really feeling it. Okay, just like really feeling it. For those of you that buy new decks, you gotta make sure to like ground the energy with um, something, anything. Um, is this, that's an extra card, I think. Yeah. Okay. This is the first time I've used it. So we're going to get to see exactly what it's like. This is the back. It's pretty fun, right? Okay. Um, Leo's let's find out a general vibe for the year of 2024. What's going on for Leo's in 2024. What's going on for Leo's in 2024? Okay, let's see. So government building, public services, administrative agencies. So some of us could be going to, I'm a Leo by the way, Leo son. Some of us could be, maybe we work for the government, maybe you are some sort of public servant. Um, if not, maybe you'll have to go to a government building of some sort, maybe like a courthouse, train, subway, railway. This is travel for me. This is my travel card. Um, you'll, you'll definitely be traveling next year. Windswept region, breezy gusts, whirling winds, area expanse. For some of us, I'm literally getting this is going to be some sort of blizzard or natural disaster, so, so prepare for that, okay? If you need to get a generator, get a gener generator, okay? <laughs> um, winding path, curving trail, twisting route, meandering passage. Okay, so I'm getting you could be involved in some sort of situation where there's a lot of up ups and downs and winding path. Like, there's just, like, Discovering new things about someone, um, building something. Something is very different than anything you've ever been involved in, okay? And it's going to be kind of, it's like, it's almost like you're stepping into a new level of whatever this is next year, okay? Um, damp and rainy realm, moisture abounds, wet serenity, drizzly delight. I mean, this, I mean, I really like this card. This to me is very like mystic and like fun. Um, I 
Yeah, it's it's hard to say. Like maybe maybe for some of us we're gonna have just like a really rainy winter or something. But also, um, I'm kind of getting I'm just getting like a very mystical, happy, dreamy, like something. Okay. I'm getting the name Danielle. Deanna or Dina. Getting the name Scott. Chelsea. happens oh I love how big these are my hands are quite I'm like six feet tall so my hands are like you know what I mean they like I can my hands are big <laughs> okay they're not small tiny hands but like they are I guess uh, compared to like guys that are six feet but so my first time shuffling this I will say it feels really nice. I, I, they do need breaking in, but I feel like once I actually break these in, it's going to be like a really nice fluid um, type of, yeah, you see that? I'm already, I'm already getting it. Oh yeah, that's sexy. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really excited about cards. And there's like a gold on the corner. Okay, Leo's. So, I'm not shuffling these guys. Like I said, with this one, usually I just pick up the card and go into it. So, January, believe in the impossible. If this is a connection, if this is a relationship, if this is something of that nature, something is going to turn around for you. And it's, it's also giving me this, like, this vibe right here, too. It's kind of like... Something so crazy and out there that you never expected it to happen, like ever, okay? Knight of Swords, okay? I love this card already. I'm loving these cards. Look at that. <laughs> Do you see in the background there's like a foggy type of castle here? I'm definitely seeing that this is, you know, that damp, dreary realm um, and I'm seeing someone here, like, you know, this is a knight on a, on a white horse. This could be a relationship. This could be a person that's coming towards you. Whoever this is, is very brave, strong, courageous. Okay. There are like attacks all around this person. I feel like this person has been fighting off a lot of their own struggles They seem a bit tired. This could also be you, you know, if it's not someone else. It's almost like this could be you that like you have been through so much. And I'll tell you what, you know, December was crazy for me. I don't know about you, Leo's as well, but it was good, but it was so tiring. Like I am just so tired right now so much has happened in this past month where I'm just like like I don't like I celebrate Christmas and like I, on Christmas I was like I don't know what was wrong with me it was just like I couldn't I was just so low like so low it was crazy but anyway moving on also in January we have the page of swords so I'm getting <laughs> You guys gonna see this card okay first of all this page right here he's like looking in in a window on these two women um it seems a bit sexual but honestly um it looks like someone's getting dressed but like the way he's seeing it is like well hello my ladies <laughs> so for some of you you could be having like some really nice threesome i don't know but if this isn't a threesome i'm getting um 
it's the same person, the sword energy. This is someone with air in their chart. I feel like you're connecting with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Um, I'm also seeing that a lot of people are interested in you right now, Leo. Like, a lot of people are going to be offering you things, okay? Um, you're becoming quite popular. And I see that some of you are, like, starting to, like, work out more. You're starting to eat better. Um, and this is grabbing people's attention, okay? We all know that it's more than that, right? Obviously, it's, like, you know, it's not just about looks. But, like, you know, when... Like, the first thing most people see is someone, how they look. You know, if you're not, a, like, a really spiritual person. For me, personally, I do see looks, but I also see, like, what's behind the looks a lot of the time. Um, maybe you're starting to do that if you haven't already. But someone's going to come forward and, and tell you something here. There's someone... I'm getting like a knight in shining armor, like something that you've been waiting for for a really long time is going to happen. There, someone's approaching you, okay? <laughs> so anyway, let's move on to February. Hold your vision, fixed moon. You know what's funny? I was drawing cards for myself today and I got this blue moon card and hold your vision. And this to me, whenever I see this hold your vision, I'm, I just feel like it's like, hold, <laughs> hold the line, where it's just like, there's no action that needs to be taken at this time. It's all about just taking a breathe out and just, you know. It could be even difficult to hold your vision. Ten of Swords. As I say this, Ten of Swords. So there could be some challenges in February. Um, be careful of your crown chakra. Um, this man is being stabbed in the head, okay? Some of these images, guys, are pretty um, crazy, but we're all adults here, right? So um, this is art, you know. Um, again, I'm seeing these two birds. Interesting. So there's two birds in this Knight of Swords right here. And there's two birds here. You guys definitely have some sort of guardian. If not guardian, there's some sort of twin flame soulmate connection happening. Um... You know, and that's why all this karmic energy is kind of here. But with this Ten of Swords, you know, there could be challenges. Okay, Heart Chakra and and uh, Crown Chakra. Okay, these are going to be challenged in you. So make sure to keep all of your chakras ba balanced and aligned. Um, heart Chakra, literally anything that kind of makes you go, oh, is going to help with that. <laughs> so like, you know... I don't know, whatever makes you happy, right? And then with the crown chakra, it's just making sure you're, you're in order for my crown chakra to be aligned, it's like everything else has to be, you know, it's like if my, in meditation, meditation is great. It clears that space. Okay. I'm also seeing someone with very rosy cheeks. And this to me means you're going to be very fertile as well if you're in that age range or whatever. Because um, that's typically, you know, the the this, the reason why blush was created or something, there, as far as I know anyway, was because it, it makes people seem more fertile or something. All right, so anyway, Nine of Swords. Wow. So I'm not sure I'm going to show this, this particular card because this is very violent. Okay. Um, if, if someone has like a private reading with me, I'll probably show you this, but I'm definitely getting someone in your general area is, is not is not good, okay? Okay, this is like demonic. <laughs> okay, like, Jesus. <laughs> uh, okay, um, we're just gonna grab this drama deck real quick. You know, Leos, I know we can handle the drama. You guys are fi fine with it, you know? It's too funny too, because like when you get a couple of Leos together, you know, as much as we are like kind and nice people, sometimes you get us together and 
we have something to talk about and ooh, I have been trying to like in those instances lately like really like not bite my tongue but be like how can I find the good in this person in this situation because not every situation is as it seems right so if someone's being weird or kind of mean there's probably a reason for it do we have to be there for them no but you know whatever so let's see what's going on with Leo in February <laughs> who the heck is attacking Leo in February jeez <sighs> and it's because you're looking good too. there's I'm telling you there's something up with the Leos having a lot of envious crap happening, okay? It's just, yeah. Ooh. Okay, so there's something happening online. Secret crush. There could be a secret somewhere. What's going on? Who, what's going on with online with Leo? I just heard someone could be like actually trying to, this is really random, put a spell on you, like so that you'll like fall in love with them or something, which is, <laughs> okay. You know, that kind of stuff doesn't really work long term either, which is kind of funny. And if you're of like a uh, certain, if you're of like a certain like kind of level of spiritual awareness, that kind of stuff doesn't work anyway. It just gets rejected and returned, which is kind of funny too. But anyway, um, so we have plugs, legal, court paperwork filed, crushed, and unconditional. I'm getting two different energies here. Um, there's someone who is very upset with you. Okay, I don't know what this is about. Probably you do, though. Um, something could be legal between you two. So maybe this is a divorce or a separation of some sort. Um, again, with this government building here. Um, I feel like there's secrets that are coming out about someone, something. Uh, a lot is being exposed about something or someone in February. Okay? February doesn't seem like the greatest of months, honestly. Um... <laughs> But there is, there's another, there's like another lover here. There's like someone else. There's two different energies, okay? All right, so let's look at March. Balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. Queen of Coins. Love that. Is there two cards? No, this is just a very thick card. Okay, um, some of you are going to become pregnant in March. Okay, um, I see you getting a lot of gifts from people. I see a Taurus here, and there's a very particular person who wants your affection and attention. If you're not pregnant, that's fine. Um, I'm seeing a lot of family members around you. Um, this could be also friends. Whoever this Taurus is seems pretty annoyed. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but like the, the Taurus, you know, that, that bull right there, they seem really annoyed. Okay, so there's just, there's still like someone in around you that I'm just seeing that is like, really just unhappy with you, <laughs> okay? I don't know what that's about, but the Knight of Coins, okay? So this is soulmate energy. This is like, um, you know, two people of divine nature. And there's that bird again. That bird is showing up. They've been with you here this whole time. Whoever this is, you know, the King of Coins, it is an, an earth sign, but I'm really getting air energy from this because of this bird and the bird that it, it followed you there. And on this coin, there's a bird. So you could be connecting with someone who is like, or has a lot of earth in their chart, but they also have like a lot of air in their chart.
wherever this person seems to walk as well, it's like they light up everything, everywhere. This person is a bit of a peacocker, okay? So they could like to show off a little bit. Um, I'm getting like fire energy too, but they, or no, maybe that's more like Capricorn, right? Capricorns like to show off. But I'm also seeing this person is really fond of you. Really, really fond of you. What's going on between these people? Six of cups. You gotta be shitting me. That's my soulmate card. <laughs> okay. Um, you have had many past lives with this person. Okay, like many. And you see how there's a fool here there in the background? That to me is giving like this person is going to rush in towards you or you them. This is like king and queen, like um, generational legacy type of stuff, okay? I really like that. Okay, so next up in April, we have Don't Let Pride in Your Way, Full Moon and Leo. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. So, you know, we start off really good in January. February is a little strange. I don't know what the heck is going on there. I'm just, I feel like this could just be someone that has it out for you, Leo, and you probably just need to balance yourself. You know what I mean? Um, with this March energy, I feel like things are going to be going really well for you after February. And it's almost going to be like in April, like it's time to like rein it in. Okay. You know how like we can get really excited about stuff and like we just... <laughs> We don't, it's not like we're, we're wanting to hurt other people, but it's just like other people could be like, okay, calm down, Leo, Jesus. You know what I mean? And you're just like, sorry. <laughs> um, so the king of wands, this is Leo energy right here. <sighs> you see that cat? Do you see that cat right there? Oh my God. That is like a crazy monster cat. Okay. Okay. So... I'm getting from this, there's a masculine out there. Their family could be really pissed off at them for some reason. And also with this, I'm kind of getting a very defensive stance from this King of Wands. Um, this King has something on his mind. It's, it's almost like whoever this is, their family remembers the younger or different version of them. And this King of Wands is now sitting here like, no, like this is me now. Like whoever that was, was younger me. Yeah, sure. But like, I'm no longer this person. And someone here is really unhappy about that. Okay. And then we have Venus. What is this card? I'm going to have to look this up because I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be. Is that supposed to be the star? What is Venus? This is a very interesting card. It has Libra energy and Taurus energy. And the planet Venus. So that means love to me. And there's the star. I want to read this because... Something is very spiritual here. It's like really interesting. Um, and I feel like this is a really relevant card for someone. So hold on. The heck is it? Venus. I think I'm getting there. Almost there, guys. It's card 23. So the number 23, oh, that's Twin Flame. Hold on a second. That's soulmate. Almost there. <laughs> okay. Venus is a graceful, feminine, and attractive, indulging herself in delicious food, noble drinks, and other pleasures. While she has an abundance of... Okay. Um, sorry, this is... I think it was originally written in a different language, but anyway. A symbol of love and delight, Venus injects our world with harmony, beauty, and lavishness. 
Venus is associated with love relationships, material wealth, lushness, and all things to, um, to be related to beauty. Under her influence, a person strives for hom harmonious relationships with others. She bestows people with the ability to see best in others and revel in life. She bestows the desire to be creative and express love, to give and receive feelings in return. <sighs> The position of Venus card in the layout shows to the extent of which a person has the ability to attract and make good use of financial resources. Ooh. So, Leo, in... Is it April? Yeah. April, you're going to be attracting possibly a new partner. If not a new partner, this is just your same partner. Your same partner is going to be finding you extremely attractive. Okay. It's almost like they can't resist you anymore. Which is why I was kind of like, you can also be feeling this. This is also Phoenix rising from the ashes type of vibe here. So it's like you are glowed the fuck up in April. Uh, it's something, I don't know if you've been working out for four months solid or something like that. But your sacral, your sacral chakra is also lit as fuck. So it's like, there's just so much good about you, which is why it's like, Rain the pride in because it's 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 good to still be humble, you know, and not like throw that in people's faces, right? Um, okay, and it's funny too because because you're putting that out in the world, Leo, you're going to just attract that of which you are, and it's almost like your presence around other people could be very addicting at that time as well because it's like whatever energy you put it you're putting out there it's very contagious and people feel that around you you know what i mean all right so may surrender to the divine full moon lots of full moon energy here okay and saturn energy Okay, this is giving me Aquarius and Capricorn. I'm going to read this card, but this is an old man <laughs> with a star over his pipi. So let's see. Saturn. Saturn is the Roman god who forbode the raising of male children. Refer forbade it. Ironically, though, his son's Jupiter, Neptune, and Pluto survived. Oh, geez. So he was just... Okay. This could be like kind of like death card type of situation too. Um, Saturn acquired wisdom through experience, but he also lives his own isolated life. He is a primary symbol of the cruelty of fates relating to such concept as separation, loss, confrontation, endurance, patience, perseverance, solidarity, alienation, and loneliness. In astrology... Saturn manages the borders of our life. He is the ruler of time. If time is of the essence, failing to take immediate action might be disastrous. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's something you may need to really do in Saturn. Oh, sorry. In, in May. <laughs> um, there could also be something going on with Saturn in, in May and end of April. Um, Saturn is a very like work oriented energy. And I feel like this is telling you focus on work in May. Like you may have to like, like I said, there's something happening in April where you're having so much fun or something. And then it's like May, you're really going to have to just like hunker down in work and really work your butt off and do not procrastinate. Whatever you do in May, do not procrastinate. Okay. Ooh, love it. The world <laughs> I really love this card. It's like, it's like mother nature. It's like every sort of thing that's ever existed is on this woman. <laughs> it's like all of the signs. Okay. And they're all like in harmonious nature as well. And there's something about out of an Adam and Eve here too. So I said more like twin flame soulmate stuff going on. Someone's name could be Adam. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to need your attention in May. It's kind of like, there's just, you could be feeling like you're holding the entire world on your shoulders. Like 
it's going to be a lot of busy, busy energy. So I don't know if that's going to resonate for someone. Maybe you know something happening in May and you're like, yeah, that's, you know, you know, maybe work will be picking up. Maybe family will need your attention. There's going to be something that's going to be stressing you out. And it's very important to take every task and do it as it comes in. Okay. And yeah, and basically <laughs> surrender to it. You got to just, you got to go with the flow. Don't, don't fight it. Okay. Don't fight it. June, show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. Oh, I need more coffee. This reading is intense. <laughs> okay, so um, judgment. Okay. Damn. Jesus. You know what's so weird? I saw, you, know, you see all these people in this pool here? They're not like struggling or anything. Although some of them... Don't seem like they're having the greatest time, but that's kind of what judgment's about, right? You know, it's like not all of us are going to be having a great time if if that ever happens, right? Um, but wow, this is just a really crazy. There's like Jesus in this card. I mean, I'm not very very religious, but it's uh. I'm getting like Archangel Gabriel energy from this. I do not remember what he does specifically. I feel like there's something also that was divinely orchestrated and guided for this month. I'm getting like a really heavy, um, it's like a really heavy spiritual feeling. You know, like when you walk into a church, right? Like one of those old churches and you, there's just a, like, let's say you walked in in the middle of like when they were like singing some song or something. And it's just like this really like vibrational energy that is like going through you that like, that's the kind of energy I'm getting from this. Okay. Like I said, I'm not really super religious, but anyway, the sun, oh. Can you feel that karma coming? I said it so weird. Can you feel that karma coming back for you? Whatever it was that you, that had, it's like something is coming back divinely orchestrated for you. The sun, that's you. That's Leo energy. I'm seeing someone so happy they could cry. Okay. Like there's something you've been waiting for. Some of you have also like lost a lot of weight as well. Is that an eye? What is that? There's something on this guy's face and I'm like, what the heck is that? Someone can have a scar like on their left there's like a scar on this guy's face on the left. So, I don't know. So, watch out for like any <laughs> any face injuries, I guess. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but be careful. Jeez. Um, you know, June is just bringing really beautiful energy. The sun's coming up. The summer's starting. And it's like everything is aligning as it should. That's what I'm getting from June. Okay, so we're going to move on to July. Sorry, this reading is getting kind of long here. I'm already 33 minutes in. Um, it's this new deck, probably. Um, prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. The moon, okay, so something is hidden, okay? Something that is unknown at this time. And the queen of wands, there you are again, Leo. So, there's someone offering you something in July, okay? Um, for some of you, someone is giving you a gift, uh, some of you are going to have to repair something in your home. I'm seeing like, like a hole that like animals can get in. So for some of you, you could really need to, <laughs> to patch up any holes because I'm seeing like mice or something get in your house. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. There's a mouse right here. Some of you may be getting a cat because you have a pest issue or something. Um, and you see how this moon, Luna, 
that's the moon goddess. She is holding, she's also, she has a couple names actually, but she's holding a wand. Okay, so some of you could actually be quite witchy and you are manifesting something for your future. I'm getting to eat, you sh if you're, you know, if you're not um, allergic, you should be eating a lot of shellfish. Okay, in July. So next up in August, our birthday month. Communication is key, new moon in Gemini. Some of you could be Gemini, have Gemini in your chart. This is also my twin flame energy. Card. Knight of Wands. Okay. There could be someone that's slightly younger than you. <clears throat> this could be... Um, this could also be like a, uh, um, I don't want to say sibling, not sibling. Maybe it is a sibling. Uh, I was thinking more like a, a son or a daughter that's approaching you about something, some sort of issue. They seem to be worried about something. <clears throat> Huh. Okay. Uh, what else here? Page of Wands. Yeah, a lot of younger energy going on. Um, I'm seeing something be planned. Um, and I'm seeing something be put to rest. So I don't know if, if I'm seeing someone like put away items. Maybe you're moving. There's a lot of planning going on, whatever this is, though. And you have a lot of family involved in whatever this is. The sun is here. You're being, you're being connected with spirit, and I, I'm seeing like you, you're protected at this time. So don't worry about anything. But I do see that there's something that's changing course here, and it's going to take planning, and perhaps like someone moving. Okay. In September, let's see, your commitment is being tested, first quarter moon, all right. The star, lovely energy, this is Aquarius. <laughs> this, this card is funny. There's just like this little face in, in the moon here. Um, an eight of swords, ooh, ooh, okay. I'm kind of getting from this, <laughs> oh my God, look at this, look at this. Uh, it's like someone with a demon baby, like Rosemary's baby, and like a whole bunch of like swords with people on them being stabbed. So, but it's weird because these people almost look like, okay, so these people either look like they were sacrificed or it's like she was being protected. <laughs> She's still kind of looking at the demon baby like, what the heck is this? Um, so this could just be nightmares, you know. There could be a lot going on in the dream realm here where you're just being kind of spiritually attacked for some reason. But like there's there's still this star here watching over you. It's like you're being protected no matter where you go. So some of you are definitely connected to spirit in some way. What is this energy here? What's this Eight of Swords energy? Be like general stress, okay. Insatiable home nightlife. What's what's the home card? Party. A lot about partying in September. What's the party? A lot about gambling, taking a risk. Taking a risk. Okay, there's something here that um, you could be holding back from doing because you are afraid to do something. I'm getting fear. 
You could also be spiritually attacked by someone, which is not, it's not helping the situation, but you're being guided to do something. You may even have like a dream, a specific dream about what this is that you need to do in August. I'm not really getting prominent energy from whatever this karmic crap is, so don't worry about it, but it's very interesting. Huh. All right, I'm going to move in on to October because I don't really understand that yet. Uh, what do you need to release? Yeah, Eight of Swords can be like self, like people putting themselves into like positions where they, they feel like they can't do anything. So there could be something you need to do and you're like afraid to do it, but you need to just go take this risk and do it. This could be buying a new home. Okay, the Seven of Swords. I'm getting, yeah, okay, with what you do need to release, there's one sword on here that has blood on it. So that to me is like, there's someone that you need to release from your life, like one particular person. This is going to become obvious in October, okay? The six of swords, yeah, getting over a hardship, moving on to calmer waters, right? So whoever this is was just no good for you anymore. Um, there was constant battles, struggles, waves in the relationship, or whether it's at work or something, who knows. And you're going to be releasing them, or you should be, according to whatever this is. Okay, next we have nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. I remember someone had mentioned, you know, Void of Course Moon is just kind of one of those moons where you don't really need to be doing anything. So maybe in November you'll get like some chill vibes. Let's see. The Tower? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's not chill. <laughs> That's not a chill vibe at all. <laughs> what the heck? Um, okay. So we have a Tower. What's the Tower? Oh boy. Look at that Devil card. Look at that devil card. <sighs> okay. So. <sighs> These are two major arcana and I'm having trouble. Like, well, what's the devil and the tower together? Ta oh my God. Three major arcana. Okay. Well, shit. So. Oh. You know what I'm getting? You don't actually have to do anything. This tower is just coming regardless if you want it to or not. There's something um, that's basically being like kicked out of your, your life. If you don't, if this has nothing to do with the previous month here, this is just the universe being like, this is just gone now. Goodbye. It could be something connected. What's the devil energy? I need to know. Why did I reach for this? Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. The devil. All right, what is it? Ten of Wands. Okay. Spirit here once again saving the day. The tower is connected to love. Okay. Um the tower is going to release a lot of burden for you, okay? Um, I'm seeing like green with envy here with this devil, so there's someone envious of something, but at the same time, and there's the sun again. Even though something might seem stressful, you're still being, like, you know, watched over. I'm also seeing a lot of, like, crazy thunderstorms or something in November. Maybe end of October. 
something is going to kind of come to like a peak. You know what I mean? Uh, perhaps in a relationship. All right, let's move on to December spiritual message. Okay. Death. Oh, shit. Maybe that's the tower. Well, I mean, that makes sense. Isn't that basically? Yeah. Um, so change is here. You know, change is coming in for better or for worse. But I'm getting it's for better because the tower with the devil with temperance, it's kind of like a balancing of the situation too because temperance is like kind of the opposite of the devil, right? Because temperance is like, you know, angelic, um, divine nature. The, the devil is that of which like, you know, any, any sort of like something in excess, obsessiveness, things like that. Okay. Um, and with, with this death card here, what's the death card? The hanged man. Wow. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting from this. I'm like getting, you know, just chill, just chill because change is here. You're going to have to just, I kind of feel like, um, see things from a different perspective after, you know, death, the death card after change in the universe occurs, it's like, you're going to have to just, this hanged man is a really interesting card. He has like a whole bunch of sig sigils on him. What the heck? There's like a cat cleaning themselves in the background. <laughs> and there's that bird again. It's like a, it came full circle, whatever this is. What's death in the hanged man? Strength. Okay, cool. Love it. Okay, there's you, Leo. That's you. And you just ended your own reading. So that's awesome. Um, okay, so I'm going to tell you right now what I'm getting from this is whatever has happened here in November um, is supposed to happen. It will happen it, for your greatest good. You're going to be stronger at the end of it. Um, the change that's happening here is is good for you. It's balancing. It's it's beautiful energy, and I'm really loving this reading, guys, and I hope you did too. Thanks. Bye.